All right, good morning, everybody. It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to today's vlog. Here to give you a recap of week four of the 2015 college football season. We had some couple upsets this past week, starting with the game at Eugene between the Oregon Ducks hosting the Utah Utes. Utah crushed Oregon 62-20 to due to great efforts on both sides of the field, particularly at quarterback and Travis Wilson leading the team in passing with 227 yards in the air and 100 yards on the ground and some scores. Now defensively, this is a good, effective, disciplined defensive team for the Utes defense and, and Kyle Whittingham has been doing a great job as their head coach. This is a good team who's at the hunt for um, the, at least the North Division of the Pac-12 and they do control their own destiny. Now this is going to be a tough division in the South Division and there was a good um, win for UCLA at Arizona. I actually went with the Wildcats in that upset but actually um, UCLA did pull off and they crushed the Wildcats 56 to 30. Great play by quarterback Josh um, Rosen. Couple touchdown passes. They did a great job defensively on, on causing problems for a new Solomon and company. And it helped this team remain undefeated. And it looks like it might be between USC and UCLA in that South Division. Now, headed over for um, a team in the Big Ten Conference, the Michigan Wolverines. They're building a lot of confidence and they pulled off a shutout win 31 0 against the BYU Cougars due to great efforts at running back and Devion on Smith, who had 125 yards on the ground. Headed over to the American Conference, there was a big shootout between the Memphis Tigers and the Cincinnati Bearcats in which uh, Memphis did pull off the home victory 53-46. to Quarterback Hayden Moore in replacement of uh, Gunnar Kill had 557 yards on the air um, for the Bearcats, but it wasn't enough. Now for Paxton Lynch, he actually had a 400-yard game with 412 yards passing, and he definitely can make a run for Offensive Player of the Year in the American Conference. Um, headed over to the ACC Conference, Georgia Tech. This is another team that's been struggling for the past couple weeks. They actually lost at Duke 34-20. to Shaquille Powell had a good job in the ground attack with leading the team with 88 yards on the ground and three rushing touchdowns. Um, Maryland actually played against West Virginia this past weekend in which the Mountaineers won 45 to 6, crushed Maryland. Maryland just had nothing going for them offensively. Uh, next up, my Texas Longhorns. They been, have been a major disappointment for the past couple of weeks. Now, I did mention last week on um, they played, they had a good game against Cal, but it was the special teams is the reason why they not reached in the overtime in that matchup. Same again in this past week at home against Oklahoma State. Another tough loss because of our special teams. This time, our punter was unable to catch the football in order to punt the football away and put um, the Oklahoma State um, Sooners um, already in field goal range to make the, the game winning field goal at the end of the game. Now sticking in the Big 12 Conference, there was a big thriller at Lubbock between the Texas Tech Raiders hosting number 3 TCU. This was a great shootout between quarterbacks um, on Patrick Mahomes of Texas Tech and quarterback Trevon Boykin, the reigning Offensive Player of the Year winner uh, for the Big 12 Conference. Now TCU escaped with a 55-52 vi uh, victory due to the great efforts of a tip pass deflected, picked up by running back Aaron Green for the game win score at the end of the game. Now Aaron Green um, was actually wide open at the beginning of the play to begin with. Well, watching that, that last play um, for Trevon Boykin and the offense of the Horn Frogs, I actually saw right in the middle of the field Aaron Green open, but he did not see him, and he actually went to his leading target and Josh um, Doxson, who had 17 pass receptions, which is tied for Big 12 record in a game with well over 200 yards in the air and some scores. He had a great game, and he's actually the leading receiver in college football can earn all American honors at the end of the season. I'm headed oh, 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 back to the SEC um, to the SEC conference. Tennessee um, actually played at the Swamp against the Florida Gators. I went with Tennessee in that matchup, but Florida actually pulled off another straight victory uh, against the Vobs, 28-27 to due to a last and second um, missed field goal at the end of the game. Now, another SEC matchup, a couple other SEC matchups was interesting this past weekend. Texas A&M played a great game against Arkansas, and they actually pulled an overtime victory, 28-21. to 
time. Now, they actually have the, one of the most electrified, electrifying, sensational players in all of college football and true freshman Christian Kirk, who had 173 yards in the um, um, as a receiver and two scores on um, um, receptions. I think he had a great game, and he's actually having a great season as an all-purpose player for that um, Texas A&M offense. Second in the SEC um, um, East Division, Kentucky actually pulled off a victory over Mizzou, who was undefeated at the time, 21 to 13. Now this Kentucky team is actually starting to get more and more of my respect. I starting to respect this team a little bit more. There's actually a hard fighting team. Now I don't think they're going to represent their division in the SEC conference, but they might get scared with a couple of key upsets this upcoming season. And it started off against the Mizzou Tigers, who was actually ranked 25th entering that game. So overall, this past week I actually went 10 and 6. Been struggling a little bit this year, a little bit in the 60% range. I'm trying to get things up um, as the season progresses, but this is some tough matches for you guys to see, and I this have been, have been having some struggles with my picks, but I'm having a lot of fun watching these games. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be on Thursday, where I will give you my preview of week five of this season. Thank you for watching today's blog. I'm your man, Heem Call. Be easy.